our, uh, our marketing ideas that we have for all our new retailers and uh, and show you how you can utilize them within your fit shop. Um, the first two, the first one I, I suggest that all our retailers jump on board with is uh, is adding more value to your paid per, uh, paid sessions or your group classes. You can add more value to these by simply providing your clients with a post workout shake as part of your service. Um, and what I used to do when I was working in a gym is I would have a two liter um, drinks container mixed up in the fridge and plastic cups and after every session I would actually provide all of my clients with a post-workout um, protein shake. Per serve, okay, for you guys you're looking at about uh, anywhere between 79 and 89 cents per serve. So you're not giving away you know, 20 or 30 dollars worth of tubs of protein. Now there's a lot of value that you can add in this, in, in this type of uh, offer because first off your customers are all getting samples of taste of, the, of their preferred flavor. Um, you're reinforcing the importance of post-workout nutrition in things like proteins, uh, protein shakes straight after each workout and you're doing something that no one else is doing. Very rarely will I, have I ever seen in, in the last eight years, I've never seen another trainer offer a shake after each workout that, uh, in, the, in this type of situation. So you guys, whether you work in yourself or we're under, we work outdoors or whether you work in a, a commercial gym, you have an opportunity to add a lot more value to your session by providing a shake after each workout. It's going to work well for you because uh, what, what you'll find will happen is that when your clients are with you for one or five sessions a week, however many sessions they're with you, they're getting the shake, but all the sessions they're training without you, they're not getting the shake. So they'll obviously just go and, uh, and it should, they should click on to go and purchase their own products from your fit shop. Another option that I suggest you do is start adding value to your promotions. So if you're running 12-week uh, challenges or offering three or six-pack personal training packs, I suggest you start adding products from your fit shop onto, into, those, uh, into those packages. For example, a vegan protein, which you guys pay, uh, off the top of my head, I think it's about $75 for. Um, you, know, you can build that cost into your three or six pack price, okay, and actually have, give your customers, when they first sign up with you, a tub of protein as their, uh, as their, as a, as their beginner gift and, and, uh, or a, a promotion like that. Now, this works very, very well because, first off, when your customers come to you, you don't have they they are given the protein that you prefer anyway, or the one that you would recommend or suggest further on down the track, and because it's free, you you annihilate a few objections straight away. So you don't have to worry about objections about flavor and about taste, which is the biggest ones we get because it was a gift. Um, they're not no one's really going to complain about it. Um, also, it helps build your repeat business. Now, with your retail business, it's very very important to understand you need to have a repeat business um, a strategy in place. Um, now, when you're giving your customers as a, uh, as, a, as a gift when they first start training with you, the protein, when that tub bot runs out, they're going to come straight back to you and, uh, and make the same purchase. And if you're doing the uh, rec referral recommendations and, the, and constantly talking about the different products and services that you offer, your customers will already know where to come and buy those products from. Um, so definitely start thinking about creating packages where you can upsell products. And it doesn't have to be the vegan protein. Um, for all my heavy lifters, when uh, for all the people that I that generally the guys, um, you, you, your straps and belts are generally the better option there. Uh, for the girls, you know, a, a ladies' compression shorts is a great option for people. You know, something different than a protein drink or something like that. In terms of building repeat value, though, your compression gear is probably not going to build that for you, but it's going to be a good little upsell for you to help uh, lock in a few more clients to any of those big packages. Um, the next one is promotions. So every month you should be thinking about um, running different promotions and different services that you can uh, you can offer your clients. Um, things like uh, you know a, a, an extra personal training session when you purchase a you know, x amount of tub or something like that, or you know unlimited group classes for this month when you you know purchase an a product A, B, and C. So really important to start looking at ways that you can start linking in your fitness or your service based business with your retail based business. And, uh, and there's a lot of opportunities in there. I suggest you get onto our Facebook forum at Fit Shop Online on Facebook and, uh, and start putting some ideas in there or start picking the brains of all of our uh, experienced retailers. But um, with those three strategies, uh, you'll, you'll find you'll get a, a, a good uptake from your customer base. Post-workout shakes after each workout, um, upselling products with your promo packs, and run, running monthly promotions with your members. Um, all those little things to make people uh, feel, uh, feel special is, is always good value.